Okay, class. Um, this is the video for Math 2015. Learning outcome number five, homework hints. Okay, so some of the problems in this homework can get a bit tricky. So I have modeled a couple, a few of them for you. And you can always feel free to ask me questions by sending email or sending a picture in the email of your work in progress. Or we can do an appointment through Zoom. In number 24A, we're going to start. Learning outcome number five in the unit homework for unit one homework, 24A. 67 plus 59 is the problem. And in this, and then in number 24, we're going to take each of the problems and we're going to do an insightful way to do it using an equation string and a less insightful way of doing the problem in the equation string and we can compare those. Okay, so we'll start with the insightful way. Okay, insightful ways can um, looking for tens complements or making tens, making hundreds. Okay, those types of things. So we're going to do the tens complement, where we're going to take from the sixty-seven and give to the fifty-nine. So sixty-seven plus fifty-nine is equal to sixty-six plus one plus fifty-nine. And we're going to switch the association here of 66 and 1 to 1 plus 59, okay? And that switch has become, is, can happen because of the associated property. Okay, and the associated property for addition says that we can switch those. If we have three numbers here to add, we can add them in any order. And that will be giving me 66 plus 60, which gives you 126. So a less insightful way does not look for any complements. So it's pretty much anything else. I'm going to break up my numbers in just a random way and seeing it, how it works out. So in 67 plus 59, I'm gonna break up my 67 into like 62 plus five or something like that, plus 59. And then I'm gonna put the five with the 59. Using the same strategy, but we're doing 62 plus 64, 126 that way. Okay, and so again, we use the associative property. Okay, and in a less insightful way, we could do any, any uh, method. And so we don't even have to use the associative property. But it was a little bit trickier to get to 64 when I didn't use a nice number. Okay. Number 25A. So this are the like these are like the ones for number twenty five. They give the situation about selling cheese, and then what you need to do for the situation is derive what the formula, the math equation will be, the expression. Okay, so our expression that we need to simplify based on based on the story problem. is 6 plus 109 subtract 17. Okay. Now Carrie had done a solution and so we're going to do Carrie's equation stack as if she was doing some sort of number talk. Okay. And in Carrie's equation stack she calculates 6 plus 109 and then she calculates 115 minus 17. So this is how she calculates 6 plus 109. Okay, so she takes 6 plus 110 
and adds those together and gets 116. Then she takes the 116 to subtract the 1, and then she gets 115. Okay. So in we're doing equation stack and equation string, and we're also kind of pointing out some questions, some areas where we can ask the students some questions, press, press them for more information. So we can ask here, why are you using 110? Okay. How did you choose that number? Okay. And then where did the subtraction one come from? In this step. And why do you need to do that? Next, after she calculated 6 plus 109, she calculated 115 uh, minus 17. Okay, so that's what she ended up with here at the end of the first step. So she did 115, subtract 15, to get 100, and then she did 100, subtract 2, to get to 98. Okay, and 98 is the answer. 98 pounds or something like that. So we should keep our units on. Okay, so we can ask her a question here about why did she break up 17 into 15 plus 2. Okay, why did you break up 17 and 15 plus 2? Now we're going to go ahead and model her thinking with an equation string. Okay, let's hold her thinking there. And the equation string go ahead and starts out with the problem 6 plus 109 minus 117. Minus 17. Actually, I'm kind of running out of room here. Let's try this again here. Okay, so she started out by adding 6 and 110. So we need to um, break up the 109 into 110 minus 1, so we can add that with the 6. 6 plus 110 subtract 1. Okay, so 109 is the same as 110 minus 1. This minus 17 will come along for the ride until we are ready to, to subtract it. So we need to maintain equality, so we'll have to keep it in there since she uses it later. Now, the associated property says I can take the 110 minus 1 and, and add 110 to 6. Okay, so that's the associated property. And when I do that, I get 116, subtract 1, subtract 17. And in her thinking, she did go ahead and do 116 minus 1 to get to 115 minus 17. Next, she broke up the 15, 17 into 15 plus 2. 115, subtract off 15 plus 2. Okay. Since I'm going to subtract off both the 15 and the 2 together, that's one quantity, I need to subtract off their parts separately, 115 minus 2. A lot of times we call this distributing the negative, but you're trying to subtract off uh, an, a quantity with two, a binomial with two numbers in there, and so you have to subtract off each one. And 115 minus 15 was what she did next, and she got 100 with that. 
100 subtract 2 is 98. So we have our answer there. So equation stack, equation string. One more um, example homework problem is number 26A. And in 26, we have another problem where people are buying carpet for half of a room. That's 12 by 14. And so the equation to solve based off of this problem, or the expression, Simplify is this. You're thinking about half of twelve times fourteen, or one half times twelve times fourteen. Okay. So Mary is going to solve this for us. So Mary's thoughts are expressed in the word, in the problem. And Mary's equation stack should look like this. So she won, she calculated 12 times 14 first, and then she took half of that. Okay. So to calculate 12 times 14, she took 12 times 12, it said equal to 144. She took 12 times 2, it said that equal to 24. She added those together, 144 plus 24, and got 168. Then she calculated half of that. half of 168. So to do that, she took 160 and divide by 2, set that equal to 80. Then she took um, 8 and divide by 2, so that equal to 4. And then to find the total answer, she did 880 plus 4 equals 84. Okay, so 84 feet squared is her answer. Where can we press her for questions? So she can, why did she break up the 14 to 12, into 12 plus 2? Okay, so she knew the fact that 12 times 12 is 144 is probably the main, the main draw to that one. And then why did she break up the 160 8 into 160 plus 8. Okay. And that's probably because she knew that 160 divided by 2 is 80 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So half of those two numbers are easier to calculate than half of 168. Okay. So Mary, Mary needs to do in a, in X equation string. Well, we will do the equation string to model Mary's thinking. Okay. And so what she starts out with is half of 12 times 14, which is a half times 12 times 14. Okay. Is the same as one half times. Now the 12, 14 became 12 plus 2. Okay, and we're going to distribute the 12 to the 12 here and the 2 there to get this part right here, which she calculates 12 times 12 and 12 times 2. The half will just have to come along for the ride until we are ready to take half of the 168. Okay. 12 times 12 was the 144 that she calculated. 12 times 2 is 24. Then she added those together to get half times 168. Okay. And half times 168 she handled with 
um, division by two. She did, she split up. Okay, so she did divide, division by two, so technically we need to go 168 divided by two. That's the same thing. Now the 168 she did separately by 160 plus eight. She broke that up into 160 plus eight. And then divide by two is still there. And then we have that equals 160 divided by two and plus eight divided by two. Okay, so what happened? How can we do that? Well, this is back distribution of division over addition, which if you have a sum divided by two, each of the parts are also divisible by two. Okay, now division, division is distributed from the back, but not from the front. And so we can go ahead and then calculate the 160 divided by two, which she said was 80. And then eight divided by two is four. The answer was 84, eight squared. Okay, some homework help, um, give you an idea of how these things work. Good luck, feel free to ask me any questions, and hope you enjoyed.